Hello, it's John here for another AP tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a stage level height map that we can use in Unreal Engine 4. So what this is going to be, is going to be a simple image file that we're going to import into Unreal to create a level, a unique level. So let's get straight to it and go for the most important part first. So we're going to just set the canvas up and uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much what you go for here but I'm just gonna go for 2048 and you know what I'm just gonna set that as that for now and change it in here just in case you've come this far so we need to be able to make sure that we're working in currently set with to RGB we need to make sure we're working in black and white mode grayscale and then hit this guide and we need to be making sure we're working at 16 bits so we've created canvas and we set it to grayscale and we're going to work in 16 bits so at this point let's start setting it up so i'm just going to roughly just throw some shapes down let's say i want to create a path from high to low so i'm going to set one side to have a complete black box and then let's create a couple of paths that would sort of go up to there All right, this one I'm going to set up as a gradient fill. So this is how we're going to get the low to high. Other way around, it would seem. 180. Nope, minus 180. 180. Why are you not alternating? Okay, that'll do. And we want it black up there, but we don't want to go all the way to white yet. Let's create a sort of path. So what we've got here is this is going to create a map that we can sort of walk up a bit steep ladder and we are going to want to create another box and this will want to just be a solid color and let's use our pipette tool and match that completely up cool so now I've got a ledge and let's create one more path that's going to take us down to the base level so they're just going to be another square with a gradient so just click in there, say it's a gradient match the colors up so the white wants to be this color and this to white, give it a really so steep decline, and cool. Let me get all these actually and stretch it out a little bit more. Hit enter. Cool, and that is set up now. Oops, I don't want that. The next and final thing to do in the Photoshop side is to save this as a PNG. That part's quite important. Okay, map for level.
So I've just gone into save as set it as a PNG or could do a quick export as a PNG. Uh, compression's fine. Hit OK on that. And because we set to grayscale, because we got we're using a ten uh, no we're using twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight canvas size, so it's going to be quite a big map. And we're using sixteen bit color depth. This in theory should end up looking quite nice. In theory, but you know, let's sort of give it a try. We'll move across there. So this is going to be a very sort of mechanical creation. It'll probably take a lot longer to actually do using the editing system in a real. But what a lot of people do is actually do you know take photos and use real life photos to create very unique he height maps for like unique levels and environments. And that's pretty cool. And at some point we might look at how we can use the photo and turn it into sort of grayscale and really mix it up looking good. But hey yo, thanks for checking out this part. See you in the next part.